Today is Tuesday and I didn't have my like planned grocery shopping this week that I usually do when I'm in Tucson because we were just like running around and really busy and I totally forgot to get groceries. This week I really wanted to do a grocery haul for you guys and do like a meal prep, show you guys how I plan the meals for the week that we have and so I had to stick to my local grocery store. Now, this isn't like the ideal situation for me because we live in a small town in Southern Arizona. The only grocery store that we have is Safeway and they don't have a lot of organic stuff. You know, it's more of a, I'd say it's more expensive than Sprouts or Trader Joe's obviously because Trader Joe's is so cheap. That being said, I do go to the Safeway and the local Walmart um, a few times a week just because I never seem to plan like far enough in advance to get everything that I want from Sprouts. So I just wanted to show you guys a typical grocery haul for us for a week and talk about how much money we spend on groceries and also my tips on saving money for groceries because I feel like a lot of people out there are kind of in the same situation that I'm in. I don't live in LA where there's amazing farmers markets or even in like a big city where there's amazing farmers markets and I know like the biggest tip that people always give you is go to your farmers market now when I lived in Minnesota we had really amazing farmers markets and I could get stuff really cheap but here in Arizona we have more like heirloom farmers markets and it's really expensive it's not cheap at all but they have more amazing kind of um, stuff so like for example um, I got this purple asparagus at the farmer's market. It was $8 a pound. And then this broccoli I actually grew in my garden and to me it looked like just super funky and I didn't know what to do with it. But the lady that was selling this asparagus told me that this is the best broccoli ever. And she was like, pick it all, saute it, steam it, fry it, cook it, like do anything with it. It's so good. So I just picked a ton of broccoli out of my garden and it's just nice to know that this is like an heirloom kind of broccoli that's amazing. So I just kind of want to go through my food haul and kind of show you guys what I got, um, what I'm going to use things for, and then I'll show you at the end of the video like how I meal prep for the week. Even though it is Tuesday, I haven't done any meal prep for this week, so we don't have any food in the house. And yeah, let's just get into this. Two bell peppers, one I'm going to make corn chowder today with, and then I got another one because I want to make red lentil chili this week. A liter of kombucha, which is just thing that I drink every day and I it's like my wine I drink it before dinner when I'm like prepping dinner it makes me feel fancy a bag of romaine hearts a bag of corn that is also for corn chowder a package of organic bella mushrooms I'm just probably going to throw those in hash browns and veggie stir fry things so we were in Tucson last weekend and they had this um, cauliflower vegetable bowl at Trader Joe's and I got it. It was so good so I wanted to try and remake it. So I bought some cauliflower and then I have a bunch of vegetables. I bought some sweet potatoes as well to um, bake and put in there. So I got four sweet potatoes and then I also got some tofu to put in there. So I'm just going to prep this stuff today and then make like a tahini dressing for it and I think it's going to be really good. I'll probably just cook a ton of it and then eat these like cauliflower vegetable bowls all week. I also got two avocados just to throw on top of things and also because this whole like avocado scare with the Mexico border closing, this might be the last time I eat an avocado, I'm not really sure. And at our local grocery store, like I feel like because I've been buying, so, yeah it's my fault, no, because um, the demand for organic food is getting higher, like they just have new organic stuff every week. This isn't ideal because it's in this little netting but They've never had organic onions there before, and now they have bags of them. So this is just a bag of organic tricolor onions, and this was only two bucks. Like, come on, that's cheap, man. And then to save money as well, um, I also will just buy things on sale that I don't even need. So I bought a bunch of beans. I got some red kidney beans, chickpeas, and then black beans. So I got six cans in total because they were on sale and they're organic. And we don't use um, canned beans a lot, 
but when you have to buy them full price and like three bucks a can it kind of sucks so i just bought a bunch of these um either to like bring when we're traveling or to just whip something up really quick if i don't have any beans soaked and then i got a bag of red potatoes which i'm going to steam up for the week and <laughs> i got a little i got a little thing of classic peanuts um from planters because I'm making like a pad tie and I need peanuts on it. That's pretty much everything I got except for this pasta sauce that I got that was on sale. So the one of the main things that I've been doing to save money for the last three years is I've been a member of Thrive Market. You guys can't even see this. And most of the stuff that I buy off of Thrive Market is the stuff that I cannot get at Safeway or Walmart. So living in a small town in the middle of nowhere with no Whole Foods or Sprouts or any kind of natural food store in sight, it kind of sucks because we don't have a lot of things that you could typically get that are organic. And I definitely like to buy all of my nut butters organic. I like to buy all of my raw nuts organic. Even going to Whole Foods or Sprouts these items are more expensive. So the reason that I like Thrive Market is because everything is cheaper than even going to Whole Foods. It gets delivered to my door. I probably order twice a month off of Thrive Market and I can get things that I'm really picky about. So for example, like I always get this native forest organic coconut milk because it's the only one that they have that doesn't have thickeners in it and like guar gum in it and all that kind of stuff. I always get better than bouillon off of there because it's like two dollars cheaper than in, in the store. And I don't compare prices like all the time. I'm not a price Nazi or anything. But the last time that I looked at this raw tahini in the store, it was $22. And it's like, that's absolutely ridiculous. I used to honestly be the biggest Whole Foods junkie in the world. And... <laughs> One day I went there and I bought a bunch of food and then I had to go to Sprouts afterwards and it was so much cheaper that I just like swore off ever going to Whole Foods ever again because it's absolutely asinine sometimes the prices that they put on their food. Like I bought a one organic bell pepper there once and it was six dollars and I was livid. And it kind of sucks because a lot of the products that I'm really picky about they only have them at Whole Foods. And I've been a member of Thrive Market ever since we moved to Arizona, so like over three years. I always feel like I'm getting a good deal. They have lots of like coupons and bounce backs where you get cash back and stuff like that. So there's just a lot of other ways to save money and it just keeps me out of Whole Foods because I feel like if I go to Whole Foods, I spend so much money and I really, like honestly, I just don't like getting ripped off. And that's why I don't shop at Whole Foods anymore. But that would be one of my big tips for you guys is to look into Thrive Market and look at the products that you're buying maybe at Whole Foods or Natural Grocers or somewhere else. Because if you can get them for a few dollars less on every single item, like it's definitely worth a membership. I get two shipments from them probably every single month. Sometimes I order every week. Um, there is an entire list of all the products that I buy on a regular basis if you guys wanna see that. There are things that I've like researched that I know are cheaper and a better value. So I'll put the link to that below. And if you guys want to try Thrive Market out for yourself, they've given me a 25% off coupon for you guys to try it out. So I'll leave the link to that below as well. I would highly recommend Obviously, I've been a member for three years, um, but yeah, that's just one other way that I save money. So we spend about $100 a week on fresh produce, and it's just things that typically expire, you know, within like 10 days. And then I probably spend, I spend like $50 every two weeks on Thrive Market, and then I get the rest of my foods from a bulk store. Either I'll buy them from Sprouts, there's some stuff that I get from Sprouts that is cheaper, or I get it on nuts.com, or I go to an Asian grocery store. So for rice, I buy 50 pound bags of rice, and it's only like 30 cents a pound, and that will last us a few months. Anything in bulk, I buy everything in like five pound bags, so I'll get like five pound bags of red lentils, and dried mango, and black beans, and things like that, dried split peas. Um, and it's just so much cheaper. So yeah, we spend $100 a week on fresh produce, $50 every two weeks at Thrive Market, and then $100 a month on bulk food. So it's 200 just from buying stuff online from Thrive Market and Nuts.com, and then 100 so we spend 
$600 a month on food between Derek and I, which for all organic, I don't really think that that's bad. Like, I feel like that's actually pretty good. Camera died. And I'm sorry that this video is just kind of like me rambling in my kitchen drinking tea. Um, but one other thing that I highly suggest um, to do that's really easy is to start an herb garden because I have saved so much money on herbs. I have a massive herb garden. Herbs are like growing weeds. They're so easy to grow. I have cilantro, oregano, dill, thyme, parsley, peppermint. Um, I just started sage and lavender bushes. Like these are things that I use all the time. Chives, I have chives everywhere. So I never have to buy these things. And if I'm buying like organic cilantro or organic parsley on a weekly basis, that's like five, $10 a week that I'm spending on herbs that grow like weeds in your garden. And even if you don't have a garden, you can just grow them inside like basil and all these things will typically grow year round inside of a home if you have any space just literally like go to um my favorite website is rareseeds.com and buy some seeds for a few bucks and then just put them in pots and you'll have an entire windowsill full of herbs that you can use that you never have to buy ever again like they're so easy okay so i hope that little chit chat ramble was helpful for you guys i'm gonna start putting the stuff away and doing some meal prep for the week. So I'll kind of um, just film some of that for you guys and show you how I meal prep for the week. I don't typically meal prep actual meals unless I'm making like a big batch of something in our Instant Pot just because I don't like food to go to waste. So what I like to do instead is to meal prep individual things. I always steam an entire five pound bag of russet potatoes to start off the week and leave those in the fridge. And then I also like to chop up two to three sweet potatoes every few days. I find if I chop them into little chunks, I'll just throw them on the sides of foods or like if I'm eating a salad or some quinoa dish or throw it on top of rice, it's just really easy to throw on top of things. So I just chop two to three sweet potatoes into small little bits and then I put them in my air fryer on 360 degrees for 25 minutes. If I have tofu, I will prep that for the week. So this is called um, a tofu express. It's the best little tofu press I've ever found in my life and um, it makes your tofu into a nice cake. It's the best tofu cake ever. Um, so I usually just do the same thing. I will chop that up into little pieces so that I can just throw it on the sides of dishes that I make or on salads and then I air fry that for 360 degrees for 15 minutes. And how I season this is I typically always just throw some coconut aminos in there and toss it around and it usually turns out really good like with the air fryer it does make it crispy and I am going to be making a video soon on all the appliances that I use for you guys because that's just something that's been like highly requested and then this week I bought that cauliflower because I wanted to try and make that Trader Joe's bowl so I'm just chopping it up here I roasted this in my air fryer for 20 minutes on 360 degrees and then I just threw it into my Vitamix and it made like a nice roasted cauliflower rice that I can just throw with other dishes or throw it together with all the other things that I've prepped. And it's a really quick, easy dish to just have if I don't feel like having rice. Then as you guys know, I always like to prep a lot of vegetables. So I chopped up some broccoli. I had some red bell pepper that I chopped up carrots, mushrooms, and I just like to saute this stuff in a pan. I'll chop up as much as I possibly have because I don't like I don't like cooking as much as you guys probably think I do. <laughs> and um, I'll just cook it in some coconut aminos, um, let it steam with the cover on for about five or ten minutes, and then take the cover off and let all the excess liquid evaporate. This makes sure that it doesn't get like super mushy in your fridge if it's sitting in there for a few days. Like I said, I will just throw this on the top of all of my dishes or as a side dish or just eat vegetables whenever I possibly can. So with all those components already prepped, you can see that it's really easy to just throw a dish together. I just have my cauliflower rice, some vegetables, threw some sweet potato in there. I got my roasted tofu in there and then I just made like a really quick tahini dressing it makes for literally like a two minute meal but yeah that's pretty much how i grocery shop how i save money and how i meal prep for the week like i said i don't like to meal prep a lot of stuff because it breaks my heart to throw food away even though we don't throw anything away because it gets composted i still just feel bad when food goes bad um so i just like to think about like what i'm gonna eat the next three days and then prep that because i don't like like if you have food in your fridge for over four or five days it's probably not gonna taste very good um, 
But yeah, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I can't talk anymore. I've been talking way too much. Um, but again, check out Thrive Market if you guys want to with the link below and you'll get 25% off your first order. I highly recommend it. Also, there is that link below of all the products that I buy off of Thrive Market on a consistent basis if you're like just wondering like what would I even buy on here. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.